What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. In this video, what we're gonna do is go over a question where we have to find the price elasticity of supply coefficients. So we're told when the price of a good decreases from $66 to $60, the quantity supply decreases from 1200 to 1000, and we have to find the price elasticity of supply coefficient. So just a recap, the price elasticity of supply coefficient, what's the formula? It's basically the percentage change in quantity supplied over the percentage change in price. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm first going to deal with the numerator on the side. So the percentage change in quantity supplied, basically the formula for this is the change in quantity supplied, just the absolute change, over the average quantity supplied. Now the change in quantity supplied is going to be the new quantity supplied minus the old. So notice the, um, the quantity supply decreased from 1200 to 1000. So this is the new here and then this is the old. So we're going to have the numerator here is going to be 1000 minus 1200 now, what's the average quantity supplied going to be? Well, exact same when we we're dealing with the elasticity of demand. You basically add these two, divide them by two, right? You're trying to get the average between those two values. So it doesn't matter whether you put the 1,000 or 1,200 first. I'll put the 1,000 just to keep it in line with the numerator. But whichever one you put first, you're gonna get that same value here in the denominator. So this is gonna end up being here 1,000 minus uh, 1,200 is negative 200. And then over here, 1,000 plus 1,200 is 2,200 divided by two is 1,100. It's basically the middle, the average between those two values. And then this here, is going to simplify to, notice the zeros will cancel out, negative two over 11. I'm actually gonna leave this in fractions just in case maybe this is a multiple choice question on a test. This can be given in fractions, usually it's gonna be in decimals, but I'm going to leave that as a fraction now and I'll also give the decimal value at the end. So this here, this numerator, which is this, ends up being negative two over 11. So this is negative two over 11. You could also put the decimal here if the answers on a multiple choice question are in decimals. I think this is like negative 0.1818, et cetera, et cetera, repeating. So negative two over 11 goes here. And then what we can do is we can figure out what this denominator is, the percentage change in price. It's gonna be the exact same formula, but now we're gonna be dealing with the price. So this is gonna be price. It's gonna be the actual change in price, the dollar amount over the average price. And we're told that the price decreased from 66 to 60. So this was the old price. This is the new price. Change in price is new minus old. So we got 60 minus 66 over 60 plus 66 divided by two. So we would end up getting negative six over, this here would end up being 63. That's the middle value between those two. And then this here, if we divide the numerator and denominator by three, it would simplify to negative two over 21. That's what this fraction simplifies to. So negative two over 21, that's the percentage change in price. So that's gonna go over here. I think this decimal is like negative 0.095 if you wanna put a decimal there, right? So now we got one fraction divided by another. And so it's just simple algebra, negative two over 11, let's write it as divided by negative two over 21, which is negative two over 11 times uh, 21 over negative two. If we flip that second fraction, now we're gonna be multiplying. Notice the negative twos cancel out. And then notice the negatives cancel out as well. So as I mentioned in the overview video with the price elasticity of supply, we don't have to worry about absolute values and keeping everything positive like we did with demand because 
that quantity supplied and that price are directly correlated. So the negatives will always cancel out. This is always going to be a positive value. So here's an example of those negatives canceling out. And so the final answer would be 21 over 11. Right, so that's the fraction format. Again, usually it's going to be in decimals and the decimal for this is going to be 1.91. Right, so this is good here. Notice how it's the uh, price elasticity of supply coefficient is greater than one. And so they may ask what type of good or what's the elasticity of this good and this good would be, would have an elastic supply because it's greater than one. All right, so either 21 over 11 or 1.91, that's the final answer to this question.